Young World, LOD 321, LOD vs. The Internet. Let me start by saying that there are only two classes of people in the world. Yes, there are subclasses which are used to divide the population into categories which makes it easier to compile data and track trends in human activity. But on a grander scale of humans on this planet, there are only two classes of people. There are those who run the world and there are those who live in the world. I told you before that if life is a game of chess, then we are the board because that's what the game is played on. We're not the pawns because we don't have movement in the game. The pawns are the presidents, the congress people, the politicians, celebrities, movie stars, and musicians, etc. If you don't understand how brainwashing and mental conditioning work, this video might be difficult for you to understand. A lot of people have done videos about Disney and other child networks and children based businesses and show you how they target kids with hidden symbols and subliminal brainwashing. How they hide information in simple looking cartoons which at first glance appear to be innocent but when you break them down they are blueprints for building blocks for how your children's thought structure is formed. They are teaching them without them realizing that they are being taught the same way that you were taught. Sometimes you don't recognize this until you're an adult and you happen to see an old cartoon or TV show that you used to watch as a child and now with your adult mind you understand it totally different than you did as a child and are surprised at what you are seeing. The problem with this kind of programming is that by the time you realize that you've been trained you're already molded into the person they wanted you to become and trying to be something or someone different is far into your nature and comfort zone now. The powers that be have always taught you what to think is cool or acceptable or normal. This would all be fine if the people who were teaching you were good, honest, straightforward, moral people. But what if the programmers have bad intent? You have to understand that when it comes to the world domination game being played on a larger scale, there really are no such thing as separate businesses or networks. Yes, the people who work at these major companies might think they work for separate businesses, but every company structure is based on the chain of command. Just because you may be a high level employee making six, seven or eight figures doesn't mean that you know what the supervisors talk about at the supervisor meeting. The same people that are making sure your kids hear gangster rap are the same people who are making sure they hear Justin Bieber. So the way they play this type of game is as people criticize rap music or other so called negative genres and the images of rap artists or movies as being negative criminals and bad influences etc. They offer pop artists who appear to be innocent and good role models and very reserved. But this type of mental programming is long term and well held. A prepubescent child is at the age span where they are most impressionable. So it will give them the type of celebrities that they can literally grow up with. Now as a parent watching your child grow up with Hannah Montana or Justin Bieber like I have, you also are brainwashed and blinded to the real programming because when you see your child watching or listening to these type of people, it's always so innocent sounding and looking. And in your mind you're thinking, well at least they aren't listening to music where you hear the word bitch or nigga every sentence or they aren't dancing around like hoes. So you accept it and life goes on and these celebrities become household names because after all they, they did basically grow up with your children and the fact that they are constantly in the spotlight you can easily believe that, believe that they literally are that talented because all your children love them. Yes they are quite talented but that's not the only reason why they seem to be mega stars and are constantly in front of your children's eyes and ears. They are purposely put there. And keep in mind that not only are they growing up with your children, but they are also influencing children within the five year radius of your child's age. Their childlike persona is purposely kept intact as long as possible so they can cultivate as many young minds during the process as possible. Then once they get to a certain age, they start the next level of brainwashing. Now that the internet has taken over the world, brainwashing and mental conditioning has been multiplied times a thousand. So life goes on and the days pass as they normally do, then one day you wake up to this. I don't think I have to break down all the different things being portrayed by this type of behavior. There's all kind of sexism, perverted, unmoral things going on. Whatever it is, one thing we can agree on is that it's not positive. Now a lot of stuff has come out in different videos where people are saying that Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus are the same exact person. The reason why people are coming to that conclusion, which is false, is because they look so much alike, which is not by chance. The reason that they look so much alike is because they share the same DNA. Not that they have the same mother and father and grew up in the same household, but they are both clones of the same DNA. 
I put lines across both of their faces on this picture so you can see the identical geometric positions of their facial structure. Look at both of their eyes, nose, lips, hairline, and chin. It all matches up perfectly. They have always used people to influence the masses since the beginning of time. The problem is that sometimes the person themselves or their family may end up having a conscience and interfering with the program so it became hazardous to operate this way. By using clones or artificial insemination, the company itself becomes the true guardian of the person. They use fake parents who are part of the program just to be the face of the parent for the child but it's not really their child. Of course they do random things to keep up their persona and make sure the program keeps running smoothly. For instance, recently Justin Bieber was offered $5 million by the GOP to perform at an event and he turned them down. That gives the perception that he's not part of this machine when in fact the people who own Justin Bieber own the Republicans and the Democrats. You have to ask yourself, how demonic does a person have to be to be a negative influence on children who is already rich, famous, comfortable, and doesn't have to work anymore in their life to be comfortable for the rest of their life? Some people do bad things or things that are perceived to be bad in order to get themselves out of the condition of their current lifestyle and life. But how demonic do you have to be to continue to be a negative influence on children when you don't have to be, when you already have money, when you're already wealthy, when you're already comfortable? 